Howdy folks, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. This morning, get ready to go to work, check my email, and a fellow by the name of Micah Bichard. Look, Kirk, I'm an interior plaster. I'm trying to do a worm finish, and I talked to a whole bunch of plasters. They can't tell me how to do it. And I thought, man, it's been since the early 80s since I worked Union when we did a lot of worm finishes. So I called my buddy Tom at Alta and said, hey, you got the material for the worm finish? And he says, yeah, Perix makes it, these guys. So what I did was I asked him, what makes, what makes that worm finish? Uh, I've, I've used a lot of the materials, but I never, when I was Union, I never cared what was in the material. And he says, well, Kirk, it's, it's the round aggregate. The sand is completely round, so when you, when you uh, steel trowel it or you hard trowel it with a plastic float, the round aggregate skips and it makes it look like worms are cr uh, crawling through it. Where the regular sand we get is crushed, it's jagged, it's, it's pretty messed up. Anyway, Tom said, come on by, man, I'll give you a sample. And by the way, Tom is uh, a West Side Tech Rep. I got him first on my phone because I go by the name Alta, which they were for 30 years. Tom Veretta, if you really need any advice about anything, don't call old Kirk. Old Kirk is simply an applicator. I don't know everything about all these new products. Uh, West Side's phone number, 510 area code, 532-2582. Old Tom Veretta, he's probably going to get mad that I sent a whole bunch of people his way, but that's what he does for a living he is the tech rep he knows everything about stuff and so what i did is i said can you make me a sample he did and i told him well we're i'm just going to use a trowel full so i added a little bit of color just now for the sake of hopefully showing you what this does okay guys the worm finish so we apply it now And again, that difference of color is just myself. I put that brown in there because I didn't think white would show up well. Okay, once you've got it covered, back and forth. Again, when I work Union, we've done these finishes. Uh, we do them all the time but I never knew exactly what material we were using. Because back then I really didn't care. Okay, for example now, now that that's on it, you take yourself a hard plastic float, or I could use my trowel. And all you do is go in circles, guys. You go in circles, And that's called a worm finish. Why do they call it a worm finish? I don't know. It looks like worms are going through it. But anyway, Micah, you, you got lucky. We're going to work at lunchtime today, so I had time to go to Alta. Got a lot of noise in the background. Had time to go to West Side and pick up this material. And I thought, man, I got nothing better to do. So I thought I'd show you. And Jay got about 10 or 20 videos he has to upload. Maybe you'll get lucky and he'll upload this one tonight for you so you can see what a worm finish is. And I would advise a hard plastic trowel. And you just keep going over, making sure you cover all of the, the brown coat. In this case, I'm covering all the sheetrock. Got it, Micah? Hope so. Anyhow, my name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. And as usual, we thank you folks for watching. If you have any questions, you can email me. I can't be certain I will show you an example the same day, but we'll do the best we can. If you like what we do, simply hit the button below and subscribe. Thank you again for watching, and as usual, we'll see you on the next one.